Hi, I'm Lynn. And I'm Stu. And we're High Five Pig. We are. And we're in Barcelona. What we're here in Barcelona for, Lynn? For ISE 2024. We are indeed. And it's we've actually had a quick run round and it's absolutely mental. What we try to do is give you an impression of just how big this place is. It's integrated systems, it's integrated homes, it's hi-fi, it's home cinema, it's stage lighting. It's absolutely mental. So I hope we've, we've only been around one of the halls and taken photographs and videos in there for you. In the residential bit, yeah. In the residential bit. But it is the seven halls like we've been around. So anyway, I hope you enjoy our coverage. Thank you to PMC, our sponsors, and thank you to everybody that watches this. Integrated Systems Europe 2024. Um, it's a huge show. They have about 100,000 visitors. It's predominantly trade. So we're showing a mix of our traditional passive loudspeakers uh, from, from our brand, but we also do a lot of integrated uh, audio solutions. And this year um, is the second year that we're showing our Creator Series, which is our fourth generation architectural series speakers, uh, along with a huge array of other bits and pieces that we have in our portfolio and it's a great chance and opportunity for us to meet you know our integrators and distribution partners and yeah this is just the start there are seven huge halls here i think what's um, really interesting nice. is bonkers there are a few higher few hi-fi brands here and there seems to be more every year and it certainly seems like this integrated approach to home entertainment is the future of audio I think so. I mean, it, it's lovely. The, the nice thing that uh, so many manufacturers are now sort of getting into is yeah, whole house integrated solutions. Customer could want a lovely pair of big speakers in a listening room, for instance, but they might want more supple integrated sound throughout their entire home and outside. And to be able to offer that alongside all the people that do the control systems and the screens, it's cool. This is future tech and it's great. Up Cool. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, uh, this is our latest loudspeaker from our extreme engineering program. So uh, that program for us takes all of the knowledge and learning that we've had from the last 40 years or so, uh, and then refines that into something which looks beautiful and performs incredibly well. So uh, these are all designed, engineered, manufactured in our factory in Huntingdon, so just north of Cambridgeshire. Um, very important for us was that we had a beautiful aesthetic design. We'd already proven the performance credentials with the flagship DSP 8000 XEs last year. And so these speakers benefit from all of the electronics in that loudspeaker. So uh, inside here, we've got four Class D amplifiers, which are our own design. Each one of those is 240 watts with our um, unique force balance design with the, with, the, with the woofers. So each eight inch woofer has 240 watts of Class D power, so just under a kilowatt. Four eight inch woofers gives the, the cone area of a single 16, but with the speed that you'd expect with the, with the, uh, with the eight. So the, the claim for these is minus 3 dB is 20 Hertz. In practice, they actually can comfortably play down below 10 Hertz and really pressurize a room size um, with that level of performance. The cabinet is super stiff, super inert. They're really heavy, about 70 kilos each. So we've really got a lot of bracing and strength inside. The top half of the cabinet features the same head volume as our flagship 8000 XE, um, but with a pair of our own Class AB amplifiers. So each one of those is 150 watts. So you've got this a huge amount of power, 1.25 kilowatts total power, with all of our 
unique DSP engineered technology. So perfect balance means that when we turn the volume down, we still have really clean base extension. We don't lose any of that detail. When you turn the volume up, that normalizes. We also have base protection to make sure that you don't get overexcited and over skirt the drive units. Thermal protection built into the, the mid ranges. So these will do 119 dB at one meter. So plenty of output for you. Um, and then we've really focused on that, that imaging, that ability to have a large sweet spot. So the waveguide that we have uh, on the tweeter really helps to drive that dispersion into the room. So that's our Beryllium Dome tweeter that we use on the 8000 XE as well. So we've got amazing clarity, really big sound stage, incredible depth to the image that you have. And then bass, which is pretty unbelievable. Um, How low do they go? 10 hertz, did you say? Yeah, so we wow. can pressurize. There's um, an Anna Lapwood recording which has stuff down at 8 hertz. Um, and you just feel it. You don't hear it, you just feel it. There's this ethereal pressure within the room. So it's one of my favorite demos at the factory is play that. Normally people swear, which is, you know you're doing it right if the first <laughs> reaction is a swear word. Um, so yeah, we're super proud of these. Uh, really compact, amazing to look at. We've hidden the heat sink. So when you go around to the back of the product, super clean. Oh, there's one really other massively important thing, and that is that we've expanded the inputs. So a traditional loudspeaker from us would have a Cat5 cable, an RJ45, and that's it. Um, but with these, we've added RCA, XLR analog, uh, optical, USB-C, Bluetooth, speaker link. Yeah, I think so. Fully connected. Yeah, just 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 all of those. Which I think is what this show is all about. It's all about the connected home, isn't it? And things being. Yeah, I mean, we basically want to make it easy for people to integrate these into a client's home they can have an amazing experience and it blends in with the interior, but offers something that's really special in terms of um, acoustic performance as well. So that for us is that kind of that holistic approach all the way around, make it easy to integrate. Can I plug my, yes, <laughs> doesn't yes. matter what it is. Yes, you can. Um, what, can I have this color? You can have whatever color you like. So we, we've done Farrow and Ball finishes, Jaguar colors, Porsche colors, Ferrari colors, McLaren colors. Um, satin finishes, metallic finishes. So we really wanted to make something which, which basically ticks the box or whatever you want and delivers our signature of audio performance. And these are in the shops now, yeah? Yeah, so these are available now uh, in the UK. The standard gloss black finish is 60,000 pounds for a pair. If you would like a custom version, then it's 65,000 pounds, all with a five-year warranty, all made in our factory. Which is actually pretty reasonable when you think you've got your amplifiers on board, you've got all your DSP on board. Yeah. So you've got two pairs of DACs, uh, one for mid and top, one for the bass drivers. You've got six amplifiers all built in, our latest digital signal processing as well. So yeah, when you look at that uh, combined with just the amazing build quality of that, yeah, I think it does represent really good value. Yeah. Every time we watch a film and pretty much <laughs> every film that we watch that has a hi-fi in it, it tends to be Meridian yeah. in there. And we sort of sit and scream at the television. I know them. <laughs> yeah, that, that it is. I mean, this is an iconic design for us, and it's this is you know where our, what our design language looks like going further forward. So, key things like the top's really small. That's what you see first, and then where you add some weight to the cabinet, it's as it drops away on this. So you have these cur curved front, curved sides, and then curved back as well. So it's a really interesting shape to see, and it really hides yeah, the, the size of the speaker as well. Cool. Hey, so we're here showing with our new partners, AB EMEA. They're helping us to promote and get the word out about Prime Air throughout the world in a better manner than we have so far. And we're doing this in promoting some of the new products that we have available now, particularly in home theater, which seems particularly appropriate for the ISE show. And so we have the SP25 home cinema processor. It's an 11 channel processor. And then we have the award-winning 835.8 channel amplifier that has each pair bridgeable so that we can effectively with our stereo amplifier, the 835.2, create virtually any power configuration needed for any speaker configuration that any home cinema system might have. In fact, the 835.8 has a nice little party trick in that you can bridge all four pairs and then you have a 1500 watt bi amp amplifier for those speakers that are bi ampable. Now, the SP25 is actually based on our SPA25, which is an 11 channel processor, nine channel integrated amp 
that has analog outputs to be able to add that 11th channel, the 11 additional channels of power, so that you have then with the A35.2 an 11 channel processor integrated amplifier. And we combine that then with things like our new SC15 Prisma Mark II, which is our network player DAC that has a few extra little features in it that make it unique. Not only does it have preamplifier function in it, it also has WISA wireless speaker connection. And in addition to that, we have a new feature we call Room EQ, which gives us an automatic Room EQ that does an amazing job, very simple to use. You take your mobile device, you play a 60 second test tone, you move it around the listening area, and it automatically adjusts the frequencies from 500 hertz below in relation to the full bandwidth of 20 to 20,000. And we know that it's in the low frequencies where you can really do the balancing act necessary to make any system fit and work best with the room. And that's what Room EQ does in the SC15 Prisma Mark II. So hi, we're here with David Maccioni. Yes. From Macintosh, Sonus Faber, yes. Faber even, at Frankie's Bar, yes. which is such a cool thing to have at a, isn't a, it cool? Yeah, yeah. So why Frankie's Bar? Well, first, what's better than a bar to welcome <laughs> all our partners <laughs> and dealers at ISC? Uh, why Frankie's? First, is because we have a very long history with jazz bars. They're coming from Japan. If you don't know the history, coming from Japan right after World War II, uh, they could not get jazz album and American music in Japan. So they were smuggling records, jazz records, into Japan. And they didn't have jazz bar, jazz band. So they actually created a very, I would say, holistic bars in order to listen to music. And Macintosh in that era was already very popular in jazz cases. So we decided to bring the first hi-fi bar uh, to ISC uh, to pay tribute to that history and legacy. And why Frank is Frank Macintosh, founder of uh, Macintosh, of and uh, Franco Serbin, founder of Son Sonny Slapper. Of course. So welcome to Frankie's. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So what have you got new that's uh on the hi-fi home cinema front. Yeah, so we are actually have two things. The first one is on display at ASC this year, we have our uh, 75th anniversary products for Macintosh. So uh, the new MC 2.1 KW delivering 2,000 watts of pure Macintosh power. They're on display over there along the entire collection of seven. So we, we're making special edition 75 of our uh, reference products. So they're all on display here. And this is also the first debut of the Arena 10 home theater speakers from uh, Sonus Faber. So we have our home theater booth. You can see the line over there. It's insane. And uh, I hope you're going to go try it out. Of course. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hello there, it's Keith from PMC. We're here at uh, ISE 2024. We've got uh, a display of uh, our CI product, um, which is um, a product which is ideal for uh, the custom installation industry, uh, whether that be for uh, a multi-room project or for cinema installation, which is also used in the studio. And we've got a mix engineer here today who's doing uh, seminars on uh, Dolby Atmos music mixing. So the same product, so we can prove the same product is used in the studio as it is in the home. And we believe that's a strong philosophy of PMC, that we believe that the same product should be used in the studio and at home because, well, basically you just get to hear what the artist has intended. It kind Not, of makes sense, doesn't it? It does, yeah. yeah. It's uh, from creation all the way through to the home. And we've also got a range of our professional products here as well because IS, ISE is, uh, has opened up to the professional world. So we've got a lot of our professional monitors here as well. In terms of uh, technology, we use exactly the same technology on our domestic product as we do on our pro product. Um, we're using advanced transmission line and laminar technology. The advanced transmission line is a base loading technology that the, the company has been founded on which has got low distortion, great bass and low volume, and that gives you that, that PMC feel, that sort of very natural balance. Um, and that's the same with the, the flat CI series, 
architecture and on-wall or in-wall model that also has uh, laminate technology and advanced transmission line. So they all have the same characteristics. So you can mix and match any of our products, whether they're from the studio or whether they're from the home, uh, they all have exactly the same characteristics. And we've got a, a, an Atmos system here, uh, a nine, um, uh, a system here that we're playing uh, both Atmos music and uh, movies. I had a very brief listen to that. It sounds it's, utterly it's incredible. It is an absolute cracker. It's it's not. It doesn't have that 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 um, approach where it's only for cinema. You can play music. You can play cinema. You can do the whole thing. And that's the thing that you get from developing loudspeakers with that professional uh, studio ethos. It doesn't matter what you put through them. Uh, you just get a phenomenally high resolution, dynamic, clean, clear, high resolution uh, balance. And, and how has that been accepted by a more traditional, I suppose, hi-fi audience? Well, um, just originally um, when we brought uh, the professional monitor to, uh, to the public, there was a little bit of reticence because they didn't really grasp what a professional monitor was but there's professional monitors and professional monitors and we we're at the very very top end so whether you're mixing mastering or producing a film score or you're, you're mixing uh, Atmos we're at the very very pinnacle of that uh, for instance I mean Dolby used PMC as their reference um, so you've got various studios around the world absolutely. in LA I believe yeah we've got we've got mixed studios we've got uh, we've got uh, LA Nashville and London, where we use, where we um, demonstrate our products, and we also do instructions on Atmos mixing. Um, so we're pretty much the authority now for Dolby, At Dolby Atmos music mixing. I think uh, the whole music side of uh, Atmos is really interesting, and we ran a news piece on it a yeah. um, long, long time ago, and somebody piped up on social media yeah. that, well, it's not natural and it's not right and all the rest of it, and Peter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who was the boss of PMC, yeah. uh, piped up and just said, the mono people said the same about stereo exactly. when that first came yeah, out. And that's yeah. really stuck in my mind about it. it it's, a, it's quite an interesting thing because if it's because we actually mix Atmos as well, so we know how to treat music. So we mixed, um, you know, the, the real holy grail of, of, of jazz music, um, kind of blue and sketches of Spain for Miles Davis. And it, the, the approach we took was a very, very sympathetic view of it. And we were involved with the, with uh, Miles Davis's family. Um, and under their kind of guidance as well, we re remixed those. And it's a very beautiful, natural feel. It's not a ping pong effect. You haven't got crazy the sax coming out of the real ch rear channels. Uh, it's just a very, very absorbed sound feel. So you're really absorbed in the piece of music rather it than sitting away incredible. from it. And, it, and it's just a beautiful thing. And when it's done sensi sensitively and with that, with those artistic values of the artist in, in mind, you do get a, yeah, it's a very absorbing, very, well, it's a very emotional. Uh, and you've got one of your guys that mixes for Dolby Atmos We have here, indeed, yeah. yeah. We've got Hef Morris, who um, worked out of PMC Studio London for quite a period and has uh, produced some really, really nice Dolby Atmos mixes. Do you think we could um, have a word with him? Yeah, we could. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. We'll do that. Yeah. Hi, um, I'm here with Hef Mores, uh, experienced uh, mix engineer. It's worked with uh, PMC for quite some time, both in stereo and in uh, Atmos. Um, and Hef. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and what are you doing for us? at ISC 2024. So I'm here to just uh, explain to people from the uh, custom install market, really uh, to, to emphasize the point of the connection between pro and, and custom install and hi-fi. Yeah. Because I don't, think, I don't think PMC, in some people's heads, people don't really understand. Mm -hmm. In the pro market, PMC is the market leader. Yeah. And it's, and it's particularly in Atmos, but also in stereo, it's what most people go to as the, the best uh, monitor speaker in, in available. Yeah. So when you're buying a, a custom install system from PMC or a, a hi-fi home system, you're hearing exactly what the mix engineer was intending yeah. you to hear yeah. when, when, the, when the, the track was being recorded and mixed. Yeah. So 
my role here today is to just tell people that story. That's that, because it's a great story, and uh, uh, and the more people hear it, I think the more they'll they'll understand that by by listening to PMC Hi-Fi and Custom Install, they're getting the real story. They're getting they're getting what people intend. Is there um, is there a particular aspect of uh, PMC loudspeakers that that you would say is um, What's the biggest benefit of using PMC as a, as a loudspeaker? For me, for me, the biggest benefit is the lack of distortion. Okay. Because as soon as you introduce a distortion into a speaker, you start to get, it's like looking through glasses that, or listening through glasses that are covered in mud. You can't hear a big thing for a mix engineer, particularly in, in modern day hip hop music, is the difference between the kick drum and the bass or the 808. When you're listening through distortion, you can't hear what, where one ends and the other one begins. Yeah. So it's almost impossible to place those things. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It, it's like literally like trying to paint a picture when you can't really see the colors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I would say that the, the lack of distortion is what sets PMC aside from all other monitoring yeah. systems. And that just gives you a clarity that is unparalleled. I've never heard it in any other speaker. Is there anything about PMC that's because they apply themselves well for immersive formats, you know, like Atmos, is there something specific about them? Well, the lack of distortion, okay, okay. but also the, the, the CI system, Yeah, you know, the thing about, about Atmos is it's it's quite hard to install in in, in someone's home or yeah, in a, yeah, yeah. Because, because the size of the speakers is, is, a, yeah. is difficult uh, logistically. The CI system is really easy to install, particularly the heights can always be difficult because if you've got a low ceiling. So uh, for me, it's the, the, what you're what you're doing with when you're installing a CI system or a PMC CI system is you're hearing exactly what the mix engineer yeah, and the artist yeah. wanted you to hear in a way that's kind of easy to install. Yeah, sure. Logistically. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you very much. We're here at ISE 2024 with Cedric from Waterfall Audio, who are a French company that makes some really distinctive loudspeakers made out of glass. And we've been following you guys for years and years and years. I believe you've been doing this particular show for years and years. Is that the case? Yeah, exactly. We've been doing the show since 2004 because custom install is our biggest market. It's like 95% of our market is in custom install. We do a, a lot of projects with our uh, dealers and distributors in residential. And as you say, we are famous for making glass for speakers. So we don't make only glass for speakers. We have a specific range, which is great for custom installers, which is the professional custom series range for private fitters. But right now, today, we are really proud to introduce our new range of speakers with our new technology. So this new technology is called Jetstream. It's a new damping technology which is replacing our original technology, which dates back from 20 years ago, which was called acoustic damping. So this technology is a good thing, as you can see from the speaker, so you will be able to spot it. It's like a turbine with blades, and this has many technical advantages. We manage uh, avoiding reflection on the cone. We have a better bass response, better mid-range response, and we can manage heat dissipation. This new technology is really bringing our speaker uh, performance to a next level. All our speakers are equipped, like it's been the case for more than 20 years, by Atom Drivers, which is also a French manufacturer, which is made in Besançon. So it's a Cocorico product. And um, also the new thing is that the range was originally from three speakers, Iguazu, Victoria, and Niagara. So we keep the two original models, which are going to become with the name Victoria Iguazu and Victoria XT for the Jetson technology. 
uh, Niagara, Niagara was the top of the range with only one product with a horn that was a glass horn. Now we have three Niagara XT1, XT2, and XT3. Now we're showcasing the XT2. This product, uh, this product, we incorporate a new material for us, which is wood. The thing is, we do it with solid wood. So it's a wood horn, five axis CNC, hand assembled, hand polished, and varnished. And this product is really making a new design of the ranch. So XT2 is a the same size as the other Niagara, which is XT3 with a glass horn. So we have two big speakers in the round, XT2 and XT3. One XT2 is the wood horn, XT3 is the glass horn. And this one has a little sister, which is the Niagara XT1, which is smaller than we, than we would be able to see also on the other side of the booth. It's beautiful. I have to say, it's, it looks Thank beautiful. You. not heard it yet. But will you be at um, Munich this year? Uh, it's not decided yet because we had so much running in with a development. We're just coming. It's been like last year has been really intense because we have all the production of the new products coming in, some new development in Europe. All this product is 95% European made, I have to say. It's all assembled in the south of France. As I said, the atom drivers are from France. Aluminium are from France. Wood is from France. Glass is from Germany. And other parts are from Portugal. What kind of wood is it out of interest? So chestnut? The, the classic, so in the Niagara Ranch, we'll have a classic model with beech wood, that would come from Germany. And then we have the walnut, which is French walnut from French forest, made in France, with CNC processed in France and assembled in Lyon to be precise. <laughs> So we'll start probably over here, right? New Steinway Lindorf uh, soundbar. So it's full range, uh, LCR, uh, dual tens. Uh, it's uh, around 50 kilos, made of solid aluminium. It carries over the drivers from our S15, so it's got our AMTs. Um, and yeah, for, for uh, uh, it's our first ever soundbar, it's a concept. So we're gauging feedback from the dealers and the clients that are coming. Um, but it's a it's a hell of a piece. It's it's quite sort of like the soundbar, isn't it? It's quite the soundbar. Yeah, 50 kilos. You need a strong wall as well. Okay. So you don't want to put that on some plasterboard. You need to need some raw plugs. Um, but yeah, it's the we we had a lot of demand for uh, smaller form factor, uh, keeping things underneath the TV, but still trying to keep as close as we can to that stereo separation and the imaging and the, just the, the hi-fi sound that we produce. So that's our attempt at it. We didn't want to do one really any slimmer in terms of width. We can go wider, but it needs that much room to breathe. So you know, cabinet volume and things like that were really important. You were here last year. I remember you yep. guys being here last year. What do you think sets ISC apart from a more traditional hi-fi Um the, I guess the main difference is that it's, it's more innovation, I would say, probably one of the ways I've worded it. There's a lot more about AV in general over IP. Um, and I think it's, it's more of a custom install. It's more lifestyle, it's more whole house. Um, but the funny thing is a lot of the brands that you probably see at the Hi-Fi shows do have that side to them. You know, there's, there's Name and Foco over Absolutely, there, there's Monitor yeah. over there, there's you name them, they're probably here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and, and the funny thing is we do a lot in cinema world. So we do a lot of home cinemas and that's more this market uh, and things like that really. So yeah, this one thing.
Oh